Hi there guys, um, a couple days ago I got a question about the effects of dust on model horses, um, dust referring to like cat hair, regular dust, uh, things floating around that likes to collect on your models. Um, so the big major problem with dust is, is that when dust collects on a model, such like this, if you can see it, right there. Um, what happens is, is over a period of time, because there are chemicals in dust, meaning that when, you know, you spray your house, like when you clean your windows or whatever, there's dust particles flying around. They pick up the remains of the uh, spray in the air or what else, whatever else it could be. Um, meaning it could be spray from your toilet, it could be... Uh, stuff you cleaned your floor with, whatever. So all of that, little dust particles floating around in the air, collects the remains of stuff. And sometimes they land on your models. And over a period of time, um, usually it's about, depending on what the model is made out of, I had a original finish briar once. Uh, he was absolutely gorgeous and um, the problem that I had was is that I left him with dust for about a year and when I took him out to go show him I brushed away the dust and the dust had eaten away pieces of the original finish and um, it's not like like super like major but it was pretty bad enough that you could actually see that it ate away the matte finish on the model um so i had a couple people ask me is dust dangerous to models technically yes it is depending on you know what the model is and so forth um what it's made out of and stuff but see this guy here he's actually pretty good because he's been sitting on the shelf for about a year now um, and I just brushed away some of the dust and I don't see too much, I don't see any damage at all, so. Um, but, you know, depending on how the model was done, if there was enough bat finish, uh, you know, Drexel, all that can play a huge part in your model's uh, dust effect, I suppose you want to call it. Um, and I had a couple people ask me how to keep dust off a model. Well, there's not a lot of ways to do it. The Beth method, uh, sorry guys, the Beth method would be to put the horses in one of those um, china glass cases that has the uh, glass windows to it because then you can close off those horses from the dust and all that stuff. But, you know, of course, those things are expensive. They're like 200 bucks or more. And uh, if it's not the right size or if it's too small, you won't be able to fit that many horses in there. A lot of people just put their resins in those things because, of course, the resins are more expensive. And if they tip over, you know, lots of other problems. But some people are very frantic about the original finished models, like some of the horses like Alborozo, which are no longer being made. Um, and so, yeah, but, um, and the best way to, uh, well, I mean, there's another way which you could actually keep your model safe from dust. It does take a little bit more time, but about every six months, you know, when you do your spring cleaning and your fall cleaning, you need to go through and dust off your models. Even if it's one of one of those little duster things you buy at Walmart, you know, it's supposed to pick up dust. You just run it over the back of your models. That's where dust usually collects is all along the top line of the horse here, all the way down to his tail and down his tail. Usually you won't find it too much on the face. You'll find it anywhere where the dust can settle. A lot of times on the back, you won't usually find it on the legs, hardly ever. Um, I know. It, now, if the model was in extreme pose, yeah, maybe you'll find some but not too much um 
So, yeah, I mean, every six months I try to go through my models and just kind of dust them off a little bit just to keep some of the, the dust off their backs. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just try to, you know, break up the layers so they don't get super condensed. That's when it really gets the problem. Um, a couple of other things that you need to be aware of is that um, when, you know, the dust does settle... Um, you want to also try to take it off the shelving if you have your horses on a shelf uh, because, you know, the dust will actually, like, when you put your model back, some of it will actually float back up in the air and then land on top of the model again, which just kind of defeated the purpose. So, yeah, that's a pain in the butt. Um, so, yeah, but dust can be very uh, bad for your models. Uh, glossy, it can be extreme in some cases. I've seen a couple glossy horses that have been left with dust on their back for several, several, several years. And the gloss actually, uh, died, like, it just, like, went away because of it. So, yeah. But, anyways, uh, if you have any questions about dust... And um, if you have, you know, maybe like an idea or stuff like that, let me know. Um, you know, I'm here to answer questions. So I'll see you guys later. Adios.